Hey guys, welcome back to Little Helpful Files. My name is Lindsay and we do cash budgeting, mini savings, and just life in general, all through the glory and by the grace of God. I just have a quick message to come on and share with you guys, asking a little bit for, you know, prayers and support. So let me go ahead and just explain what I'm talking about. Oftentimes, you know, in life, when we are going through something really difficult, really trying, it's really hard to remember that God is still good, no matter what the outcome of that situation or circumstance is. And I know when we were dealing with everything with our daughter, uh, it was one thing that I kept reminding myself that even if things didn't go the way that I was hoping, even if the outcome was not um, one that was positive, God was still going to be good. God is still going to take the situation and make something good out of it. And I see this a lot, you know, there's people that go through these amazing like financial um, miracles that happen or blessings that come through and that's wonderful, but we oftentimes, you know, have situations where we have to do the hard things. Like my husband and I had been in a lot of debt um, when we had the car accident and that whole situation, we ended up having to sell a lot of things like our camper, one of our cars. Sometimes, you know, you're called to do the hard things, but God still makes a way and still makes it good out of a bad scenario. And so I just started thinking about this because right now we have a friend. Um, we don't know her all that well, but she is in the group of friends that we, you know, were a part of in our old, um, town and the community that we moved from she's been battling cancer for over a year now and she has four little kids that she has been loving and homeschooling and caring for and um i just we've been praying for her and her family and her husband and all of them her and her husband and her family are so strong in their faith and have just continued to set such a beautiful example of how to endure something like this, how to go through something that is absolutely devastating. Um, and, you know, with her recent diagnosis, it's basically at the end of the road. Like nobody can do anything. The doctors can't do anything. If anything were to change or happen, it would only be by the grace of God and his miracle. And again, that's where the reminder of but even if not, God is still good. And I just got an email that they have a bracelet that they are doing to help support her and her family. And I'm going to read some scripture real quick. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalm 121, 1-2. to if it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the furnace of blazing fire, and he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. But even if he does not, let it be known to you, O king, that we are not going to serve your gods or worship the golden image that you have set up. Daniel 3, verse 18. And I will show you guys that bracelet because I think this is a phrase that a lot of us could be reminded of or resonate with or, you know, we could just cling to in those moments where things may not be going the way that we want. Things may not be going in a way that would initially seem good or positive. And we could sit there and question and ask why, but there was another couple in our current um, small group that had a really powerful story about losing their son and they said that at the end of it instead of asking why they asked God what's next and I think that is beautiful and it's something that is like really hard for us all to truly do and remember but if we can start asking what's next I think um, you know that is a better way to position it and to prepare us for whatever God has in store for that situation and whatever he's going to do in it thank you guys for watching tuning in and like I said if you feel um, called to support and just purchase the bracelet I know proceeds are going to be going towards her and her family. I don't get anything from this, guys. This is just something that I felt very, you know, drawn to, like, come on and share with you guys. And um, I know the power of prayer. So we can always use more prayer warriors. I know that a lot of people are praying for her and her family, praying for her to be able to recover. Um, this type of cancer has spread all over her body. And basically, it's at a point where the doctors can't do anything else so if a miracle would happen it would be only because of the lord and if it doesn't god is still good